I am here with Ifaing Otonye of Turks and Caicos, uh, who just competed in the 200 meters at the World Championships. Um, 21.6, probably not what you were hoping for, but um, tell me how the race went today. Uh, well, given all you had two weeks to prepare, because I actually was trying to come for the long jump, uh, I didn't execute well, because obviously I'm not a 200 meter runner, so I don't have enough experience to know what really works for me. I really, really just go out there and run. But I know I didn't execute it how it's supposed to be, but I did the best I could have with such a short notice to know I was going to run in 200 at the World Championships. <laughs> What's your PB in the 200 meters and um, how did you get to run in this event uh, rather than uh, do the long jump? Um, PR is 21.3. I think I've already run in 200 like maybe seven times in my life. So uh, uh, how I got to run it, I actually was coming for the long jump. My PR is 7.90 in the long jump, but um, my federation took uh, too long to send in my entry, so the long jump spots were full because, you know, technical events, there's limited amount of spots and they're running. So I was denied to be accepted for the long jump, so they put me in a 200, which was like two weeks before the championship. So I had to try and do some speed work in the last two, two weeks, and that's the result. I mean, it wasn't good, but I'm so glad I got an opportunity to come out here and run. I mean, this is the first time I'm running in a championship like this, so... And um, what, um, uh, back home in, uh, actually rather here in the competition, how many athletes from Turks and Caicos are there? Turks and Caicos. I'm the only one here, I just said. Yeah, I'm the only one. All right, you have a very Nigerian sounding name. So could you just tell us a bit about your background? Are your parents from Nigeria? How did you move to Turks and Caicos? Uh, my full name is actually Ifan Chuku, which means nothing is impossible on the guy. And I left Nigeria when I was about, I'll say five from there. Uh, we went to move to Jamaica for two years. Actually, my father was uh, was doing practicing law as a persecutor at the time. And from there, we spent two years in Jamaica. And then from there, we went to Turks and Caicos. And that's where I've lived my whole entire life. From there, we got uh, citizenship and be able to stay there and, you, and use Turks and Caicos as my home. Other than from Nigeria, where I was born. So, I mean, I've grow, I was grown and bred in Turks and Caicos because... I can't really remember much from Nigeria, but I still know that that's my home country, but I still claim Turks and Caicos as my home because that's where I lived all my life. All right, and what are you doing in Turks and Caicos now? Apart from, are you full-time track or are you working as well? Uh, well, uh, I go to school in Kansas State University in the United States, actually, which I just graduated my bachelor's degree in computer science in December. And then I started my master's degree in January so this is going to be my second semester in my master's degree. I'm still training, but now as a professional, still doing master's degree in school. So, yeah. All right, fantastic. All the best for the future. All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it.